Hello Titchell YouTube, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We're just going to go ahead and embark. We already got our party for the next time. We just have to pick a mission. We're going to go ahead and take Compton out. Oh wait, I gotta go uh, upgrade their skills. So I can upgrade their armor and their weapons. I'm going to take Compton, Dismas, Frizzell, Frizzell. This guy's getting a name change, I can tell you that. And this guy is, is level zero, so he's not going to get anything yet. Uh, you, sir, you get a name change. What's your name going to be? I'm going to name him uh, Grant's Gravity for my most faithful uh, YouTube and Twitch follower right now. So, uh, congratulations, Grant Gravity. You now have a place. Unfortunately, you're afraid of humans, and uh, you have a torn rotator cuff right now. But you're going to be doing mostly range damage, so that shouldn't work. That being said, you're pretty awesome in the sense that you hit Eldritch Beasts and uh, pretty hard, and you're a clutch hitter, which means you have an extra critical strike. Um, let's take a Embark and do our party here. Uh, we're Dismiss up front. Crank Gravity, and then uh, our new guy, Mustle. So I could go fight the Hag, and with this party that would not necessarily be bad, um, because I have two ranged units. But that being said, the Hag is not somebody you would take a level zero character on. Um, I do need more deeds. This is a veteran one, uh, level... And this is a level 5 champion one. Hmm. That's pretty rough. Like, this one doesn't have a lot of rewards. This four deeds and two, two crests for a veteran level fight. Hmm. Although I'm kind of tempted to do it, just because... Apprentice... Busts. I do need some busts. I'm starting to get the veteran, the the medium level one, like this is a level 5, and then I'm getting the champion level and then the veteran level. So it's either I go after the hag with this party, which is not a terrible party, but I think I'd rather take a level 2 on everything, because the hag is pretty rough. She's probably the toughest of the level 1 bosses. So that means that my alternative is to go after this level 3, which is kind of weird that I would consider that to be possibly easier, that short run, than the Hag. Um, I'm kind of tempted, though, uh, just to see how, how much experience I get. So let's go ahead and do it. For provisions, we're only going to need maybe 8 food, maybe 6 torches. Uh, well, since we're going to the wield, we're going to take two shovels, because that always happens to me. Uh, take short, so maybe one and one, and one key. Although keys are not necessarily what you run into the most time, but I used both my keys last time, so I guess I'll take it. Alright, let's go ahead and try it with our z level zero going on a veteran level uh, run here. It's a short run, though. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Why do you get a automatic buff? This evil. Minus ten accuracy. Why do you have that? I don't know why this person has randomly got. Uh, let's make sure that grape shots on level two for this person. Um. Okay. Open vein, grape shot, point blank, and then take aim. And I didn't actually switch any of his skills. So that's kind of bad. But that's alright. Let's uh, see what our dungeon looks like here. Layout's not terrible. Um, what is my goal? Uh, complete 100 room battles. Now, f uh, Grant Gravity has a little bit of stress from last time. Uh, that I didn't really take care of. We did get uh, some herbs, so that's kind of nice. But it means that my stress is rather going to be pretty high. Um, 14 damage with thing. Are you bleed resist? 45% bleed resist. 
So I don't think I'm gonna open vein. We're just gonna go for grape shot damage. That is unfortunate. Okay, we got a bleed. We're gonna get another bleed. Oh, Grant Gravity dodged. Okay, and we get some stress, which is actually really bad. Um, I'm actually a little bit more afraid of stress than I would be uh, damage right now. We got a nice hue. And um, I can mark a target, but it doesn't really seem like. How much would I be doing? One to two damage? I don't really want to continue the bleed. He's been hit for. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give him some health. He healed three. Grape shot blast, let's hope. Oh no, we need to kill both these guys. Darn. Rapid rush. Crit on Grat Gravity. He's gonna get huge stress. Oh, he didn't get any stress at all. Come on, Grape Shot. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cast uh, Weird Reconstruction to try to heal some Grat Gravity's health. He rehealed for five versus the bleed. That's good. We really need these Grape Shot Blasts to land. Because right now they're in the right position with the Crush Nasher in front so that I can hit all three of them. But they're both dead, so now we just got the big ghoul to worry about. This should be pretty good. Um, knockback, no. Stress release, no, we're just gonna start doing damage to him. So, again, he's gonna stress me out. We're gonna have some people breaking on this, on this mission. Uh, I think their, their skills already went down. So we're going to open Vein. He's got 50% bleed resist, though, basically. Weird reconstruction. Um, I didn't get a Bessel... Alright. Resist the bleed, healed for 5. Yeah, with, uh, with the way this is going... Alright, so pistol shot, minus 25% damage. Uh, okay, 5 to 10. Ooh, nice crit, Dismas. Beautiful. He's potentially dead this round, but he is stressing us out. Wow, that was 11 damage. 23 stress. Oh my gosh. Grant Gravity is going to break. It's going to happen. Uh, we do need to heal. Okay, we applied a bleed effect, but we did heal him. Ooh, and Grant Gravity just got an 18 point damage crit, which is beautiful. Get some of that stress off. Um, that's not a lot of bleed. We're going to continue forward. We are going to light up the place. Get some more goodies. Loot the sack. Um, yeah, stress is a real factor in this one. Wow, we're getting critted again. He resisted the bleed, though. We're going to have all of these people break under stress just because... That last round. Dismiss, we really need you to hit, dude. Ugh, eight. Wow, terrible bleed. Um, these guys are hitting exceptionally hard. And I got rabies. Do you already have rabies? Did really good damage on Grant Gravities. Um, we are going to weird reconstruction on, I guess, Grant Gravity. He got a bleed, and he only healed for two, which means that that was a negative one. Curse of Vulnerability, dodged. Awesome. Alright, uh, Hugh. Let's see if we can kill both these guys. They dodged. They're dodged again. I think what's happening here is that because I'm lower level, I'm not hitting as hard, or hitting as often. Uh oh. We have a guy in Death Sword with bleed, which means that. And that is. Uh oh. Compton got irrational. He's gonna hit Death Door. Grant Gravity went through powerful transformation. Mustle became fearful. And there's a high chance that he's gonna die as soon as he takes his turn, because I have nothing to heal him until he takes his turn. Curse of Vulnerability. Just trying to. Debuffing. Oh man. This is not going well. All right, Grant Gravity, I need you to hit. Yes, that powerful is really gonna be nice if we can survive this. 
death door. Did he live? Yes, he did. Okay, so we'll... Oh, but he passed turn. Oh, no, because he's fearful. Which means that he has a really high chance of dying. Because he didn't do what he needed to do. Bleed resist on her is not very high. That being said, she dodged it still. My bleed on him is two. Oh, he passed turn because he's being a douche. Oh, bl blight for three, for three rounds. Okay, so it became his turn. Bleed two for one round. That's not really worth... I instilled the bleed for three rounds. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Nope. Grant Gravity didn't hit. And these guys are taking mega damage from both the Blight and the Bleed. Death Door. Survived. Still need to heal yourself, buddy. Reinstituted the Bleed, but healed for eight. Man. And these guys are going to get blighted for more. Man, six damage for three rounds. Do not pass. Do not pass your turn. Ugh. Oh, I missed. Grant Gravity, you're like my only decent hitter right now. Do not pass your turn. At the very precipice of oblivion. Okay, hit for seven. Just hit. Um. Yeah. So I need to make sure that this person heals. Compton resists the bleeds. Doesn't heal for anything. Death door on Dismas. He still has two rounds. He misses. Oh, jeez. Stressing everybody out. Curse of Vulnerability. Does two damage. Marked. Okay, Grant Gravity, you need to hit. No! That means we're going to have two people on Death's Door here right now. Death Blow on Compton. Shit. I don't want to run on a person who has five health. I just have to hit her one time. Oh no, and this is going to be useful, which means he's most likely going to hit himself when... Okay, but now, Mustel is in range to actually do damage. Uh, Anti-Venom much? What's your bleed? It's like, do I continue? Six crest, six... No, we're, we're getting out. We're going now. We already lost somebody. I wasn't hitting very many people. We still left with six crests and six deeds, which is pretty good. We lost some people. That was terrible. We'll only meditate in town for stress relief. And nephematic. Okay, well, that's a problem, because... This person gets plus 20% stress reel if they actually go have sex. So that makes me want to take out that. Intense craving for alcohol. Um, so does that mean it's not good to send you to the bar? Slayer of Eldric. That's good. The only kid buddy who came out ahead on that one is Muscle. Alright, so let's see here. Has sworn off liquor after... A particularly bad night of drinking. So, Dive will not drink in town. Uh, uh, Boston uh, got off Creeping Cough, which is nice. Okay, so where do you gotta go? You will only meditate, but yet you get a lot of stress relief with... Um... So we're gonna get this enlightened off, so that way I can send him to the brothel. Dismiss. And we did lose a person, so what's our front line look like? Looks like we only have uh, Corvic, Lovett, and Renald for the front line. So being, having a front line character wouldn't be bad. Having a back line character wouldn't be bad. 
What do you have? You have Judgment, and Dazzling Light, and Divine Grace. You have Study, and... So this Stress Relief is kind of nice, plus Monster Eldritch. Okay, that's not too bad. I like it a lot better than a second um, Bounty Hunter. We're going to take this Vestal. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. And then we gotta take off some stress. Tense craving for alcohol. I wanna see if I can send muscle to the cloister. I can. Breathe in, breathe out. This must pass. Crank gravity doesn't have anything will not drink. Okay, you can go to the Abbey and go to meditate in the Cloister too. Um, Boston, stomach cramp. Okay, he can pretty much go anywhere. I've got quite a bit of highwaymen, which is kind of nice. I like highwaymen. But I think that's going to be it for this round. Had a couple of uh, bad experiences that lost Compton. Is he our first person to die? No. Digby was our first person to die, and Compton has now joined her in the graveyard so that their ghosts may wander uh, without, you know, being lonely. All right. So thank you for watching the video. If you liked the video, like the video, and uh, we'll see each other soon. Bye-bye.